start by heading over to the support page at soundcontrol.net. Click on Downloads, then find the RCU2S standard firmware link. Download the file, find it on your computer, unzip it to a directory on your computer. Now, take your micro SD card, put it into an adapter so it can be read into your computer. Double click the EXE or application file, click Next, and then you're going to want to find the root directory of your micro SD card. Select it, hit OK, and then Next again. Finally, you can close the program. Now browse to your micro SD drive and verify that there are two folders that have been created there. Now let's take the linked RCU2S and flip dip switch one up. This will program the RCU2 camera end first. Insert the micro SD card and press the S1 button, holding it down for 15 seconds. You'll notice the FW or firmware LED goes solid. After 15 seconds, it will start to flash. That's when you let go of the S1 button. When it does flash and you release the button, it will start flashing very rapidly, which initiates a firmware transfer. This can last up to four minutes. When it's finished, the FW LED will go back to a once per second green flash. Now let's program the RCU2S HE module. Flip dip switch one down, and again, press and hold the S1 button for 15 seconds. Also keep an eye on the FW LED. Again, when it starts to flash, you can release the S1 button. When the FW LED goes back to flashing once per second, the firmware update is complete. But we can verify this by writing a log file. So press the button five times in a row, and you'll see the firmware LED flash, and then rapidly for just a short amount of time. When it goes back to flashing once per second, it has written the log file so you can take the card out and put it back into your computer. Double click the log text file to verify that the new versions are installed. 